And welcome back folks to Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. Now, this is going to be episode 2. I haven't recorded anything quite a while, I've been a bit busy with college, but I'm on my holidays. I know, we're going to get this, going to get this done. Show goals. Once again, I'm going to point out the trophies. Now, I'm a bit limited to this one, I can't remember, I can't quite remember them all. Missable ones. I'm going to try my best and I'll probably go back if we miss them. Before I won't mention the story trophies, I'll just mention the missable ones. Telltale Games presents an association of universal partnership and licensing, license, licensing. Back to the Future, the game. Saturday, June thirteenth, nineteen twenty-one. to get to them. Oh dear. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. Unless, uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're gonna kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. And neither will you. Oh, unless... God. When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. I'd like to know why the police have suddenly decided to pick on us. I don't know what. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. Why has everybody I in this game got a cult? I seem like got something that looks like a cult. Cult. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Huh. I can't remember, that might be true actually. I think, I don't know if the DeLorean actually the, the DeLorean started. I wouldn't be surprised him. if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I don't know if this is like um, in 1932 they actually start producing the Lawrence, but there's a good chance it's actually true. Stop! Stop! Go! Save your life! 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 Save your life!
your grandfather. I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. Seventy, eighty, here we go. What was that? Well, folks, now we've got to... Find Arthur and rescue him. We've only one slight problem. There's another Marte in this town. 455. Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. Uh, it's log logging a bit too. There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before- Mr. Crockett! Oh, now you call me Sonny Crockett. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Well then, carry on, and do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know? Sure, no problem. Ah! Oh dear. Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty, stop talking, get moving. Einstein? Einstein. What is it, boy? See what I don't get? Wasn't that, um, what did the change Stay, that caused stuff in... Crap! Einstein! Wouldn't the change in that pistol change something in the timeline, I would, I would say. You wanna play? Okay, let's play. What are you up to, Heine? Cause it's for an Heine. It's slowing down a bit today, I don't know why. Get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tanner's guys. Ah, ah. Speaking of which, oh God, no. Hey. Oh God. Um. Hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Huh? Can check over my work to make sure. Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. Oh, are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Yeah. Sure. But Arthur's on an even deader deadline. Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? <coughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? <coughs> Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. 
I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket trail. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. That was looking. Okay. Oh, hey. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Oh god no. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand Marty. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until Marty McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! See, I would have stayed in the car, oh so what the hell? Okay. He hit me with a spoon. Since when does someone hitting you with a, a spoon uh -huh. knock you out? I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. I'm sorry, but hitting someone with a spoon would not knock them out. Go see the boss. my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. No, you're Trixie, not. take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. <sighs> You guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Well, good thing, sir, uh... Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Ha! Huh. Running out of time, up. Uh, uh, uh. I better get in there quick. Contents. One winged goddess. Smash, not them all. Oops. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the currents, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. Oh, yeah, just really weak. <laughs> Mind, I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come 
Monotti. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh, Artie, we got a few questions about you and the D.A. D.A. Day D E D. See what I'm working with here. Seems to be catching. Zay, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Up, sleepyhead. No, right, I'm gonna tell you something. Whatever you do, and I mean whatever you do, <laughs> if you wanna get the missile trophies, do not, and I repeat, do not look over the press look over the counter. The reason why is there's a, there's a little picture there, but if you look at it, you'll re you'll miss out on getting the missable trophy, which is door prize, hey, which is in the hey. same episode. What was that? There must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. There's also another one here which I missed up, which is a minimum state of panic, which is get out, get out, and really rescue out, out really quickly, which I just missed up. <laughs> Still can't get Trixie's nose right. Oh, God. Actually, I haven't missed it up to that bad, actually. You're trying my patience, Artie. I wonder Artie's so out of it. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> oh, hey guys. I don't feel so... Say, wake up you lazy bum! Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down. Two to go. See that purple there, folks? If you look at that, uh, basically... I think there's a way we could get uh, Rip Van Winkle here it. talking in his sleep. Yeah, I sleep-talked once. That's how I ended up married to Mildred. Remind me to sleep-slap you later tonight. Ow! Nice. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Come on, Artie, wake up. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Now, if you've done this quick enough, and if I've done, if I've done this right, you should get the permissible trophy in a minimum state of panic right now. Hey, you! Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning! Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys.
Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Oh, son of a... <laughs> and then I carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. Awesome. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! Oh! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh-huh. Something like that. Sure. Anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. looks okay. Are you sure? See, they fly residents. So, wanna come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've gotta go, I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, and the kids to raise and all that. No, I've gotta go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it off here, folks. And I will see you in the next part. I've been good games. Thank you for watching.